Can you guys imagine not being a tryhard in GTA Online in 2024? Just imagine. What is wrong with you bozos? Come on, man. Look, honestly, you guys need to join the dark side. You know what I'm saying? Like, we out here in 2024, and, you know, GTA 6 is dropping out next year, or at least hopefully, unless the uh, world ends or something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but nah, man, these noobs and these grinders are honestly down bad. And, hey, if you can't beat us, man, then guess what? You guys just got to join us. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's all types of different ways that you can be a tryhard, man. Like, a lot of people just assume that it's about spamming rockets and going ghost and things like that. Nah, nah. I mean, you could be a, a beach player, you know what I'm saying? A beach player tryhard, you know what I'm saying? You could be a city beach or a city tryhard. You could do base, even though I hate base, you know what I'm saying? Well, actually, I don't know. I feel like people that play in pub lobbies actually have more skill than people that play in invite only sessions and not necessarily because they can get kills but because if you're playing in pubs man i mean the odds are against you at all points you know what i mean like a cop can get you an npc can get you you know what i mean like uh there's all types of different odds you know what I mean? like people people literally will change their gamer tag some kids will change their gamer tag just from dying once you know what i mean so i don't know it's like if you're worried about you know, dying on a 10 year old game and changing your tag like that, and that's just crazy. But I mean, you could still be a tryhard and, and try to be competitive in some form, some way. You know what I mean? Uh, and I feel like that's what a lot of people don't try to do, and that's why they hide in their invite only sessions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Uh, I just think it's crazy that uh, that these these grinders and these noobs are still grinding out here 10 years later, and you know we're pushing into GTA 6. In 2025 which is crazy um, even though GTA 5 won't completely die at least not for a while uh, there's not gonna be that many people on here whenever GTA 6 does finally drop which could be at any point in 2025 knowing Rockstar wouldn't be surprised if they don't push it out to the end of next year you know what I mean like that would be crazy and people would be so pissed but I could definitely see that happening but uh, like I said if you guys aren't already a tryhard man start being a tryhard start griefing some noobs you know what I mean? Send them the 10Ls message uh, on their game and on PlayStation. You know what I mean? Like, send them screenshots. Say never getting it back. 10, 10, 10, 10. Like, something. Just be kind of toxic, man. Like, that's all you got to do. Like, stuff like that. You know, not necessarily spamming or going ghost or using the orbital cannon, but just doing, you know, basic tryhard things, man. Like, I don't know. It's just crazy. These grinders and these noobs will continue to pay for their sins until Ewo's brought back and Alzheimer's are taken out. But hey. <laughs> Make sure you guys hit that like button, man. If you are a tryhard and you're wanting to become a tryhard, and if you're new, hit that sub button and turn on post notifications because this is the best GTA channel you will ever hear and see. Have a good one. Peace.